This is an idler pulley that goes at one end of the dolly. It just freewheels on these bearings and the belt goes in a big loop between this and a motorized pulley at the far end of the track. This is the motorized pulley with a NEMA 34 motor on it. Um, like I said, the belt goes in a big loop and moves the trolley. The trolley is just freewheeling right now. And I had to give up the Teflon skids from the dynamic dolly and went with wheels. I've got four below the track, four on the sides of the track, and eight wheels running on top of the track. This can support a lot of weight and move very freely. I put in these T-channels so that the top and bottom of the trolley can be separated so that it can be assembled on the track very quickly. This is the pan tilt head I was originally going to put on this rig. It uses a NEMA 17 stepper motor and a 50 to 1 harmonic drive. It has small hollow bearings for the tilt and the pan axis to let wires pass through. This is the new pan tilt head that is inspired by a Sorensen head Gerald had posted online. There will be T-slot on either side of the roll that allows the camera to be moved up and down so the lens can be centered in the roll. Um, it's big enough to hold an Airy Alexa digital cinema camera. This is how it will move. It can tilt like this. It can pan back and forth like this. And here's where the motor goes for the roll. And I'll give you a closer look at the motor mount. The motor goes here. And there will be two idlers here and here which can be adjusted to tension the belt. This is how the drive will go. It will be identical for both pan and tilt. It's a two-stage belt gear reduction. This is the output gear and the entire center of that will be open for wires and things to pass through. Here it connects to the middle gear and idlers will tension the belt in the middle here. And the first stage of gearing will go from the motor on that metal pulley and this belt will be tensioned by moving the motor that way on slots where it's mounted.